Good morning, everybody. It's another one of those snowstorms, so I can't go outside or watch TV or anything, and I'm not going to just do that again. So I've learned my lesson the hard way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my knife on my kitchen. Looks great, doesn't it? Looks beautiful. Let's see what's on TV, though. We don't want to miss any... I can't watch TV. I keep forgetting. So we got to go back outside, go back inside, go inside, upside down, over, since, whatever. We're going to sleep without making a diary entry because... I don't see a point in making a diary entry. And we're going to be moving on to the sixth day of winter. Unfortunately, today is a two-day episode. Would you look at that? It's another snowy day. Let's see what's going on tomorrow. Is it going to be another one of those horrible things? Nope. What do we got in this channel? News? All right. Seems good to me. Now, I don't know what happened to the ball. I watched the uh, previous video, and it was in the kitchen, so it just kind of disappeared. I think it eventually just kind of teleports back outside, so that's okay, but it's kind of like, uh, where'd it go? So it's probably, usually it'll reappear around here somewhere, I think. So here's Chef. I don't have any presents for him. I think he might like a fish, but I'm not going to give him a fish. I'm going to give him a small milk. Now, I have to make sure I give the, um, wow, thank you, but, um, the cat likes getting cute. I know, I already gave him the thing that he wants, so I have to buy animal food because if we look carefully... I've only got 12 more cow food, and that's for like two more days, so I have to make sure to restock on that as soon as I can. Now the chickens are probably going to be mad again, which is unfortunate that I just sold that. Did not mean to sell that, but whatever. It happens to the best of us. I'll sell that too. And you know, I gotta make mistakes once in a while. Now, I don't know how much those sell for. I should probably check. Let's go take care of the horse. I don't want to forget about the horse. I'm going to go in here. I'm just going to whistle at him. We're going to leave. Wait for him to answer the whistle. Okay. That way he knows he isn't being ignored. I don't want him to, like, lose affection with me because of that. Because it's winter and I have him locked up. But he's not going to be a little horse for very much longer. He's only got, like, another season of that left in him. So that's good. We're going to take care of the chickens. And then we're going to go chop wood. we got a little bit of a routine going. And that's okay. So if we get too ahead of ourselves, we'll just have to find something new. So let's get on with our journey. My voice just cracked there. I'm gonna pick all these up. Now I can hold nine items and I have ten chickens, so at one point I have to go like this, and then I have to like grab another one. So the chickens are gonna be mad at me tomorrow for yesterday's snowstorm, so tomorrow I'm not gonna get any eggs, unfortunately. But it's gonna be, it's a nice day today, so we can give Popery a spa boiled egg. Hopefully we can get somewhere in the future with Popery. Let's pick up all these eggs. And I can sell all of them except for one, which has to go to Popery. I could give another one to Anne, but I don't really see a point in it right now, so I'm gonna take all these. And then I'm gonna sell all of these eggs except for one. I'm gonna sell, let's see, what do we got? The gold egg is gonna be the last one, so we got this one, this one, this one. I should have one more. Okay, this one's for Popery. This is a special egg for a special person. So we're gonna we're gonna go down here give Popery an egg. Happy winter sixth, Popery. Gift just for you. One of these days my barn's gonna be bigger. That's cool. If it's not already bigger, I'm not really paying attention. Let's pick this up. Anne's here. Popery should be next. There she is. Family troubles are all done. So let's give her an egg. Thank you. I like this very much. Oh, I got the yellow. Me and Potpourri are at the yellow level now. And our, oh, come on. Tell me something new. We, we're at the yellow level. Dad, okay. Come on. Come on, Potpourri. We're yellow now. We're beyond this. This is, We're beyond this part of our relationship. Where you tell me about the po what you do at the poultry farm. Yeah, let's just chop this one, then we'll chop another tree. They're not trees. I guess they're tree stumps. Look how thick these trees must have been. This would have been, like, causing shade to go over the whole land. And I think at some point they had, like, a purge of trees. Because if you look at it, none of the trees that are up have stumps this big. Like, they all have tiny stumps. So, like, they went through and they're like, this is a big tree. It's gotta go. Big tree's gotta go. Any tree of this diameter, just chop it down. And it won't grow back either. But the stump will grow back, which is kind of scary. But that's nature for you. That kind of thing happens all the time. That's why they say stumps are so hard to get rid of. I always thought it was because of the roots, but I think it's because they keep coming back, like weeds. So it's 
We just gotta chop all these. I might go to the mine. I think I'm gonna just fish instead. Like, I don't really have any other goals. I don't need to go hire a harvest sprite or anything. So I think today, I might just fish. That's one of my possibility ideas. There is more wood I could get, though. So maybe I should get that. I don't know. Like, I don't want to spend all my time in the mine, but it's also just a good idea, I feel like. Did I sell that fish? I wasn't supposed to do that. I was supposed to save it. At some point, I do have to go talk to Pastor Carter and get some things settled down. We have a score to settle because I accidentally littered the other day. So I had to go tell him about it. It was an accident, but I guess accidents are just as bad. So we're gonna, I think throwing things in water, that's littering. Ah, where you cannot retrieve it. Gotta pay like really close attention when you're fishing. Very difficult to keep a like straight focus, especially when you're trying to talk. Trying to talk is the correct word because I mumble so much. I can tell I am. There we go. I got a fish, that's one. That's like my record. Actually, I don't know what my record is of how many fish I've gotten in one day. It's probably like two or something on the show so far. On the series, anyway. I used to be a master angler back in the day. Back when I was a young whippersnapper. But that day is long behind me. It's noon now. Didn't lag or anything this time, which is kind of strange. Usually does. But I get I get so many fish bones and stuff. I gotta get my... I really need to get my um, curse removed. So I'd love to get other stuff. I'd love to get lots of big fish. I have to hold them all until the end of winter, though. Which is sad. But they survive in your fridge indefinitely. So that's nice. You don't need an aquarium or anything. So I don't think this one's going to work. So i got to recast. Wait again for a little while. Am I going to get a fish? Today? Tomorrow? The next day? Someday. Perhaps. I guess not. I'm really not catching anything, am I? I'm gonna try it one more time. This is the day of fishing. The day of disappointment is the other term that I could use for it. It seems really disappointing me. Come on, just, that's it. No more fishing. Fishing is lame. I am gonna throw this garbage on the ground. It's my farm. I'll do what I want. It's not littering, it's my area. I don't think I can throw the fish in the pond right now, so I'm gonna take the fish and put it in my refrigerator. Because the more fish I have, the better. Like, the better off my pond's gonna be and everything like that. So let's go in here. I'm gonna, I am don't think I can get up to the other end of the um, town fast enough, so I'm not gonna do anything with that. We're gonna put the fish on this slot because it's faster. Hi, puppy. Did I pick you up yet? I did. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is not anything. So let's see what's going on with Chef in here. Cause I think we're just gonna kinda skip over this day. It's kind of a lame day. So I'm gonna do an extra day, I think, perhaps. It's quite possible. Well, he's sleeping in here, so he better be done. Cause I just saw him taking a nap. Let's see. That one didn't give me milk. None of them want milk. So I guess he's just taking a nap now. He must be done. What's up, chef? Oh, I must have fallen asleep. No, no problem, I finished all my work. Okay, if you say so. I'll let it slide this time. So I don't think I can really do anything else in this day. I could give Gots a piece of wood and I could go mining. I mean, that would be a better use of my time, I suppose. Ah, did he leave? Did you just, like, full-on bolt? Hang on. I'm faster than you, Guts. Take this. Take this for your hard work. You're welcome. I'm never gonna get back in time, though. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit the hay right now. Now, it sounds kind of, like, absolutely insane. Like, that's so why'd you go to sleep at 3 p.m.? But, you know, winter just needs to hurry on along. So I think I'm just gonna do this real quick. So we're gonna stay... And I'll see you after the saving screen, because I'm probably going to edit that out, so good night. If there's one thing kind of awkward, it's when there's two days in one episode. I don't know why, but it always kind of seems a little weird. Nothing good. Is that another snowstorm? 
Wh okay, that will be snow. Okay, I can handle that. I thought it was going to say another snowstorm, and I was going to say, what? Come on. How many snowstorms does there have to be? So that ball disappears. That's kind of scary. Oh, the ball came back. Hey, the barn's done. How do you look at that? Look at that. It looks great. There we go. That's going to be... If I remember, that's my thumbnail. It's not going to actually happen, though. I always forget. I always forget every time. But probably because I record a couple episodes. Now listen here. Chef, you got a lot of stuff to do in here. I expect you to get it done. All right? All right. So we're going to go... Now that that's done, though, I can start focusing on the next house upgrade. And, you know, all that other things that can happen. Which is kind of what I was looking forward to, you know? I want to get through winter, get back to spring, because I'm really excited for the next, like, bundle of crops that I'm going to grow. So I'm going to help, as always, by feeding all of the chickens myself. But I can't give any gifts to Pope Ray, so there's no point in that today. So what we're going to do is we're going to chop all the wood, and then we're going to probably do some winter mining just for the heck of it. And then I'm going to try to keep, you know, four of each of the one item and then sell the rest. But I think... Mysterials only are only worth like 40, but you get so many of them, it's a big waste of time not to just take them. So, I'm just gonna get what I can. It's gonna help my budget. Oh, crud, I'm supposed to um, go buy an animal food. That's gonna be the new priority. We're gonna chop the nearby wood, and then we're gonna go to um, Barley's Ranch, and then we're gonna buy some food. And then we're gonna go around, um, and maybe maybe we'll mine. I totally forgot about that, so that's a little awful. Uh, Marceline is attacking my microphone right now, so I gotta get her out of here. Marcy, come on. You gotta go down there. All right, now. What was I saying? I totally lost track. Popery's here, though. So I guess talking to her wouldn't hurt. So how's it going? I should have saved two eggs, because I knew they were going to be mad at me. So I got Popery to a yellow heart event. I don't know when the heart event happens, but... At some point, we're going to evolve our relationship, and things will be good. We're going to chop all these. I don't think I even chopped the stumps up there. I think I forgot. Or maybe I did. I was really distracted by my cat. I messed this up. I didn't even chop the stump. Chop! There we go. Now, I should probably just go in, and at some point, I should see how much it costs to just um, upgrade the house the final time. Get that extra room. It'll look really nice when it's done. Then I have a lot of big purchases I want to buy in the future, but I'm going to save my money. I might not even do the house upgrade in the winter, because I need the money for spring. Because when spring rolls around, I need to buy a lot of seeds. And he's not open right now. I don't know what I'm trying to do, trying to do there. So we're going to go to Barley's Ranch, and we're going to, you know, ask for some cow food, because I was not very good with the grass like I thought I was but next spring I'm going to plant like a big section of grass along the side like I'm gonna take the right side of the field I'm gonna do like a three by three all the way down just to get a solid wall of grass I'm not gonna fence it off or anything it's just gonna be there so how's it going barley well if it isn't the guy from soul farm is that something you need and it's not a good voice I lost it I want some fodder which is the top item and we're going to probably what we got five cows and how many days are left in the season? Like, something? Like, some kind of amount of days are left. So I'm gonna buy 99. 5 times 10 is 50. So we got, like, what, 20 days? More than 20 days left, so we're gonna have to buy it. We're gonna have to buy 99 more to make it through the season. So let's buy 99 more right now. And that will put us in a good spot. But I don't think that's enough. Let's buy... I would say 50 more, so let's just do 99 more. And I know I just spent $6,000 on food, but I don't have to worry about food now for the rest of winter, so it's nice to have it all stocked up and not really an issue of mine. So I have to move Marceline again, and she really likes television screens or, you know, computer monitors. She thinks, like, all the little icons and stuff are, like, living animals, and she's fighting with me now. She doesn't want to get off my desk. There we go. She she likes to likes to you know say hey I don't want to get off your desk and then she just kind of ragdolls when I try to pick her up because she doesn't want to get off of the desk. So that leaves us with it being ten o'clock. It might be fun to do some interesting things, but 
I don't think I'm going to. We're going to go back to Gats and see what he's doing. I think he's open at 10 or maybe it's 11. How are we doing on chicken food? We got 358. So I bought a lot of supplies. I think we're good for a while. We're going to uh, see if I can talk to Gats. I think he opens like 10, 30, 11. Let's try to go in here now. Yeah, it's still closed, but I think he opens at 11. So we're just going to do some laps around here. Build up my stamina just by, you know, exercising. Just straight exercise. Super good for you. And I can't climb on Gats' roof for anything, but I think he unlocked his door now, so I can just go in. He kind of opens at his own time. He just kind of does what he wants. It's 10.50. He's open now. Hey, what's up? Now, I think I can enlarge my own house. It's gonna cost me a lot, though. For your home extension, you'll need 10,000 and Oh, wow. So, I can't even afford either version of the things. So, I'll need 10,000 G. It's probably gonna happen in the spring. I doubt it's gonna happen in the winter. I don't want to be poor. I probably spent all the money that I really want to spend during the winter. So, that's something that's gonna happen. I am going to, I think, not go to the mine today but I'm going to do the mine tomorrow. But I think I will go up there and I'll chop the wood because we are, we need 750, what did I say, 600? So we're, we're like 500 pieces off of wood and we can get about 50 a day. So it's gonna take about 10 days, but I think I'm gonna do the house upgrade in the spring, like I said. So we'll have plenty of time to get the wood. Even if we didn't come up here and get these, we can go and we can come back up here later and get them. So that's a thing. So we're just gonna chop this and why is it not breaking in one hit anymore? It used to break in one hit. Maybe I'm not fully charging it. That was awkward. The noon bell just rang at the exact same time. I guess since I'm here, it wouldn't hurt for me just to grab a couple pieces of um, things from the mine. I'm already like right here. I don't want to spend forever in the mine. But I didn't bring the basket anyway, so I really can't spend forever in the mine, even if I wanted to. So, which I don't. So we're going to do that. I think it takes two or three swings. Sometimes it doesn't register, I feel like. Now it doesn't even want to break at all. Hello? Break, rock, break. There we go. Finally broke. I think if I just do that for a couple days, it's going to be ready to upgrade. But I'm not upgrading this either. Not yet. I think my field is completely clear. Unless I can't break the really strong ones. But that's a different story for a different day. Then I will be pretty much required to upgrade the hammer. So if that comes to pass, then I will. So I'm going to take whatever I can get from the mine that is of any value. Not that, which is one value. Which is more than zero, but basically worthless. We're just going to run around like this. We're going to... Ooh, I like that. I'm going to keep all the adamantite in the auriculum. I think auriculum is the one... I'll just keep both of them. If anything, I can sell them. I could always use it to make jewelry when I'm rich and not have to wait till winter. Because I might get rich before the end of the year because I'll be able to have the infrastructure for a better farm. I should probably, um, oops, I didn't mean to even do that. I should probably experiment and see if I can hire a harvest sprite to water when there's no crops to water. Um, hiring the, the blue harvest sprite would be in my best interest. So I'm going to be doing that at some point. So I think we're going to do that. So get rid of those. I think those are worth, I think the blue one, the mithril or mistrial, they're, I think they're 40 each. So it's like, kind of like the price of like a low level crop, I guess. But I'm not mass getting them, so it's not really worth the uh, time to come down here. In like, real time, I guess. Game time, definitely worth it because the clock's paused. Okay, so we can leave now. Now we're going to go back to town. I think if it's not too late in the day, it's only two. Or one one thirty per se. Um, I can probably just go talk to the harvest sprites, see if I can hire the blue one. If I can't, I can't. If I can, I can. So yeah, that'd be cool. So let's just meander on that way. Okay. Sometimes I look over and see if I'm actually recording, because I've had a time where I haven't been recording when I thought I was for like an hour-long episode or something once. It was horrible. I don't even remember what it was. I think it was a Zelda thing, but. Who knows? That's not Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon isn't Zelda. I'm going to talk about Harvest Moon. Okay. I'm going to put all the ores I got. All of them are going to go into the little suitcase thing in here. I don't have to worry about it, so I'm going to just go in here. Put it in there. What could be in the cabinet? I would say some kind of secret magical item, but that's just me. 
we got this, and then we'll be all good on supplies for a little while. I'm gonna need a lot of the ores here, though. So I'm just gonna co I think I'm just gonna collect whatever is in my hands. I'll put in the bin, but whatever I get in the basket, I'll sell. That sounds like a good plan to me. So we're gonna. Now we get to go to the harvest sprite. I really want to see if I can hire the blue one, because if I can get a good like 20 days of water boost out of the blue one, he'll be a lot farther along. By the time spring rolls around, he'll be a good chunk faster and better at his job. Which is something I definitely need. Though I cannot make them better at harvesting over the winter for sure, because they have nothing to harvest, they won't work. So, if anything, I will be at the um, store here buying flour. So unfortunately, I will be spending some money. And I'm losing money because of the snowstorms, but I digress. I will be right back. Thanks to time travel, we have a full inventory of flour, so that's cool. I really wish there was a way I could skip it myself, but there is no way that I can just get the full inventory of flour. I have to do it the long way. That's why I don't like to do it a whole bunch, because that's a lot of time I have to spend just pressing the A button over and over again, but not too fast, because then you're just going to throw the flour on the ground, and the whole village will slowly turn to despise you, which is not fun. So, the dark blue one is the main watering one, so I'm going to start giving it to him. Yippee! Yahoo! Thank you very much. I was going to give him all the flowers I got. Here you go, my friend. I had to do like eight trips, I think, just to give them all one boosted heart. Welcome, but um, I got more stuff for you, though. I'm not done yet. I got a whole bunch of gifts to make you my good friend. And then you're going to be my main water man. You'll be the best water around. If not, then the next time I come around, I'll just have to give you another set of eight, or whatever, nine flower. However many points you get. So we're going to talk again. I enjoy working. In fact, I love working. I help out my friends in the woods a lot, but, um, are you going to, are you going to let me, um, why won't he, he won't accept my, um, I'm trying to get him to work, but he doesn't want to let me work? That's interesting. Let's leave and come back. Maybe I got him to like a weirdo, weirdo friendship threshold, so he's just kind of not wanting to work, I guess. Let's try this again. I enjoy working. Okay. Why doesn't he... He won't let me tell him to work. Very interesting. Let's talk to this one. I want you to come here again, but um, next time you can play with me. I'm confused. Why don't they want to... Is today some kind of holiday that I don't know about? That I somehow miss a holiday? I just ate, but I'm already hungry. Yeah, they don't They don't want to start working today. Something weird's going on. I just went to the store, though. So that's weird. None of them want to work. I must have come too late in the day or something. It's interesting. I don't know. If anyone knows what's going on there, just let me know. Because he would not give me the option to make him work. Now, I don't need to be, like, bribing them hardcore right now because, you know, it's not a good time. Let's see what we got going on here. If we look at the Harvest Sprite's friendship log, if I can find it, I've got him at four, five, six, seven. He's at seven. So, he likes me the most. I think it'd be cool to get them even higher up, but I don't think we're going to. I think today we're just going to Head back and go to sleep. It's getting kind of late in the day. Might be a good idea just to hit the hay. You know what I mean? Going to sleep. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but who knows? It's what we're gonna do. Hey, it's Cliff. He's not a hobo. He's got a home, and he's not laying on the ground in agony. So that's good. I'm I'm quite happy for him. I think the cows are fine. I'm not gonna worry about them. Let's go inside and look at look at it anyway, though. I gotta take this ball. I guess I have to like leave it outside or something or put it in the cabinet because it disappears in the morning. I can just pick it up. Or before I go to bed, I can put it in my backpack. So we got a lot more room now, which is nice. We can actually maneuver a little bit. Let's see what's going on here. I make delicious box lunches. Thanks, that's cool. Make me a box lunch then. Silly harvest sprite. Okay, we don't have to worry about them. The barn looks pretty cool. We got a lot of space. So I guess we're going to wait for Zach, see what's going on money-wise. Maybe I can talk to him a little bit, see what he's up to. 
Hey, Zach, how's it going? Sorry, you're shipping a lot of produce. Not a lot in the winter, because as you can see, my farm is dilapidated. I have some money. Let's get rid of the bad stumps here. So we're going to do that right now. Boom. That's probably good for my hammer anyway to go around and break all the bad ones. It's bad weather, I think, that breaks them down. I think other than that, like, most of the rocks and stuff are all off my farm. Like, I think it's pretty much empty, isn't it? This one's still here. I guess I could have, you know, taken the time to just destroy all the boulders and stuff. Would have been fine. There we go. That's gone. I think that's everything, though. I don't think there's much of anything else. I think the hurricanes throw big boulders and stuff on your property. My farm is pretty much empty. It's beautiful. It's in a great condition. Alright, let's check this out. Let's look at the hammer level. 189. Let's see what happens if I just go down the line. Now, this is going to be painful for some of us because... This is, like, a lot of wood that I could be using towards my house. But, 192. I could use these. Instead of putting them back, I could use them to upgrade my hammer the rest of the way. So, I mean, yeah, I'm losing, like, a day's worth of wood here. But, I think that might be enough to get me to the level that I need. Look at that, 199. I could probably just sit here and do this for a couple seconds, and I think that will get me up to the ability to make this mistrail. Let's check it out. My character's about ready to pass out. I was going to go to sleep a long time ago, but let's look. 200%. We can upgrade the hammer the rest of the way, thanks to the sacrifice of about 8 to 10, 8 to 10 pieces of wood. So, let's play fetch with the dog, and then go to sleep. I have to make sure they actually take the ball back. Boop. All right, doggy. Get the ball. Bring it to me. We are going to be the best at the dog race ever. Put that in my backpack. All right, everybody. So... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the morning, so good night.